What's up guys? Today we are back once again in Covent Garden for a new Yum Yum adventure. We'll be visiting in our restaurant. Inamo is a pan-Asian restaurant and they offer a little selection of fusion Asian dishes inspired by Chinese, Japanese, Korean and many more Asian cuisines. They have won quite a few awards and have been recommended by a few websites. Let's find out what all this was about. Let's go! What stands out from the other restaurants is that you can select your own order from the tablet you have on the table. You just select which food you want and then click send order to the kitchen. They also have a mouse. Chef cam, creatures, your photos. Chef cam? It looks like there's a good webcam in the kitchen and you can see the chef cooking your food. The future is now, old man. Mm. I'm starting with the salmon tataki. Tataki normally is a fillet of either salmon or beef that you pan sear quickly on every side. Here, however, it doesn't look like it's seared, but thinly sliced and marinated with a lime and ponzo sauce. It's very fresh. Mm. It's unusual. It's very different from all the tatakis I've had before. It's very zesty and very fresh in the mouth. I would have liked that it was seared. We have some seared salmon maki as well. In our case, it's an inside-out maki with all the rice wrapped around the nori. You can see inside as well some crispy cucumber, some avocado and some Scottish salmon on top with a tiny bit topping of soy sauce. What I like best in this one is the salmon on top that is a little bit seared and with the sauce it adds quite a lot of flavor to it and then the second flavor that hits it is the soft cream cheese oh my it's like melting in your mouth it's very crunchy and very fat in the mouth the cream cheese is awesome it goes very well with the salmon I love this dish very good and then we've ordered some spicy salmon gunkan. It's a little bit spicy, not too much. So if you're very sensitive to spices, that won't be a problem for you. But I would love it to be a tiny bit more spicy. Pork ribs drizzled with Moorish sauce. Oh my. It melts in your mouth. This is awesome. The meat comes out of the bone so easily. Beautiful. The outside is very crispy. And the meat is juicy. That's a very, very good sauce. Meat is juicy. Melting in your mouth. The meat! The meat! Oh my. I could eat this bone all day. Pork ribs are awesome! Rejoice, adventurers, for we have received our second servings of ribs. Ah! I got like all over my mouth, but that's totally worth it. No regrets. If you come at Inamo, definitely get some ribs. We have Inamo's take on the Singaporean noodles. Usually, Singaporean noodles are made with pork, prawns, oyster sauce, but here we have a vegetarian friendly version of it. We have some beautiful glazed noodles. Oh my. I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> smells like it's been cooked in a wok. It's very tasty. Slightly burned in the wok, which I really love. The burnt wok taste is something I'm really looking forward to when I'm having some noodles. I think they nailed it. Awesome. Mm. The work flavor is pretty strong. They know how to make it work. Work, 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 work. We have some Korean wings as well. The chicken wings are glazed with a tangy barbecue sauce. Oh, actually not too bad. But the chicken in itself is quite juicy, so I'm happy with that. Very sweet and savory at the same time. Quite tasty. There's coconut drizzled on top. I'm quite conflicted. It's a very juicy piece of chicken. Nice sauce drizzled. But the coconut 
feels like I'm eating a Raffaello chocolate. Ah. It's weird. Let's try this Thai sweet uh, eggplant. Mm. Mm. It's very sweet. I believe it's mixed with sweet chili sauce. Mm. I approve of this. Mm. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> I'm surprised because I actually thought they were like savory aubergines. Like steam fried in a normal like barbecue sauce aubergine. But they are surprisingly very sweet. The aubergines are like cooked just right. You can see the aubergine being charred all at the right place. This place is so futuristic that once you're done, just click the bill please and the bill will be delivered to your table. Ta-da! For lunch at Inamo, check! It was great food, amazing service. This lunch would set you back about 60 pounds, which is quite good value for what you get. The ribs were amazing. They were oh, so soft, so juicy. To be fair, we were intrigued by the interactive tables, but we definitely stayed for the food. We'll definitely recommend that you visit one of their outlets here in London. And now it's time to get some desserts. Desserts! desserts. For desserts, we're making our way to Tayakia, where we can get the prettiest ice cream cones in London. The cones come in two colors, brown or black, and can be filled with either lychee rose, matcha tea, vanilla, ramune, or chocolate flavored ice cream. The cones are then given an Instagram worthy touch within the fantastic themes of unicorns, mermaids, or angels. Yay. So we've just got our ice creams from Tayakia. One of my friends told me once he would believe in unicorns once he tastes some. Time to believe. Mm. Mm. Hi, the unicorn. So cute. I took the Ramoni flavored ice cream. Ramoni is like some Japanese cream soda. That other one with a little rose flavor. It's really nice and so cute, all pink and fluffy. That's a real treat. Mm. If you remember, a few episodes ago, we had some, what was it? Black Silam ice cream. It was, eh? It was okay. But this one is awesome. Mm? It's good. It's not too sweet though. And the sprinkles, there's some little animals. Like seahorses. If you want some good ice cream, go to Tayakia. A mm. bit expensive, just a little under six pounds per cone. But it's so Instagram worthy. And so pretty and so cute. Yeah. And taste is pretty nice as well. Mm. They have several flavors. Mm. I can try. So honestly, try them because mm. these kind of flavors are not very common. Mm. Like Ramune is supposed to be like only a soda, so I think they made some special ice cream from it. Mm. Litchi and Rose. Well, I guess they have some like bubble tea that has this flavor as well, but in ice cream, no, not so much. So that's it for today's Yum Yum Adventure, guys. We hope you liked it. We loved the ribs at Inamo and uh, the unicorn ice creams at Tayakia. I now believe in unicorns. Do you? I do. Okay. Fun believer. Yeah. If you believe in unicorns, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>